Look at that baby in that wash tub. <laughs> in the snow. That snow on the roof. And then there's that baby. Okay. Hey y'all, it's Kristen. So I have another haul video. I'm going to be showing some antique shop uh, finds and things like that. I just wanted to show you this again. This is part one, some of the things that I showed. The reason I'm showing this is because I'm having a sale in my Etsy shop right now, 10% off for orders of $10 or more with the code Valentine10. I'm going to leave a link to the video up here and also down in the description box so you can go take a look. And now let's get started. Okay, before we get started on the antique shop haul, I wanted to show some of the things, other things that I've been listing in the shop, like these really cool sewing patterns. I've been trying to get some of these listed over the last few days, so I love these. I think most of these that I'm showing right here are from the 60s, so. But I have some of those. Also, I got some things on eBay, which I got the antique stuff on eBay too, but, um, I got these. Let me open them. Okay, so these are bridge tally cards and the little score pads. Aren't those pretty? And then the insides look like that. I got something kind of like this. It had the bridges and everything. I think those are bridges. Um, but I don't remember them being colored. I think they were just all one color. But anyway. So, and these are the tally cards. And they just fold up like that. I thought I thought they were really pretty. Okay. Next thing. I got these cards. I think these are so very pretty. I showed these on my Instagram the other day. I don't get on Instagram very often. I don't know. I can't ever remember to <laughs> it's not really my thing, which is kind of weird, I guess. Seeing as seeing what I do and all. But anyway, I thought these were really pretty. I'll just show the fronts. Isn't that pretty? Look at that one. Are we starting over? I think so. Anyway. Really nice. And they come with envelopes. Okay, next thing. This I got on Etsy. Um, I don't remember the Etsy shop, but I will link them down at the description box. This is a Peter Rabbit washi. I'm not even sure you can see that, can you? It's really cute. I was thinking about making some uh, Easter journals. I'm pretty sure that I am going to do that. Oops. And this is washi, and it's got old receipts on it. So I thought that was nifty. Isn't that cool? Whoops. So I got those two. And then... These are little extra things right here. Oh, this is the place right here. Fairy Milk Bar. bar. Alright, so then these are little stickers that look like that. Like little envelopes. They're really small. I didn't realize how small they were, but that's okay. When you're collaging and stuff, you can... They'll work for that. And then I got this pad. Pride and Prejudice, and then there's a couple of different designs. Let me make sure. There's that one and that one. And that. It's like a little receipt in the background. So I thought that was nice. And then she sent me some little thin washi, some pink and floral. Then washi as a gift, and also these, these, I've seen these before in digital kits, they're little, I mean, I've seen the images before in digital kits, they're fairies, I 
but these are stickers. Aren't they pretty? Okay, so let me move this over and we'll go to the next thing. Okay, I also got these bags. These are in my Etsy shop. So I have these popcorn bags. I've used these in journals before. They're really cute. And then these, I believe these are four by six Damask bags. And then these, which are six by nine. And then the newsprint bags. All right. And then on Peachy Cheap, was this Peachy Cheap? I think it was. I mentioned Peachy Cheap in the last, uh, video, and I meant to show this and totally forgot, but I got a Christmas, um, kit, and it's October afternoon, which I love October afternoon, so we have some sequins, some of this trim, that's snowflakes, three different kinds of very thin washi, I mean, I guess that, yeah, anyway, I'm assuming that's what that is, but honestly, I don't think, as long as I've been doing this, I don't think I've ever seen washi that thin. So there's three of that. Then these are cards and tags. It's the Make It Merry collection by October afternoon. And of course, they don't have a picture on the back, so let me open them up so you can see. I won't show all of them, but they're just adorable. Look at that. So we have these journaling cards. And this ephemera. Lord. Okay, let me open it up. Because you can't see it. Just a sec. I love... October afternoon. I know I already said that, but still. So there's some stars, some little labels, flashcard, some more word flashcards. Tickets. And words. And then other pieces. Look at that. So cute. Anyway, I told you before in the other video, of uh, Peachy Cheap is dangerous. They have so many, I mean, they change what they're offering every day. And it is, they're, it's good prices, but I spend way too much money over there. Okay. Oh, wait, let me finish. I forgot to show the other stuff. So, we also have those. These letters, and then these. And then, here's the paper. Just a minute. They're just single-sided. Good for December daily. The night before Christmas. Okay. So that is very cute. Alright, next thing. Okay, one more thing and then I will show you what I got from the antique store haul. Oh, that was right side up. This is really good music paper and I'm pretty sure I got this on Etsy too. So... Um, I will link them down in the description box. The price was a good price. And it's, I like this bigger paper because a lot of times my journals, I can just cut this in half and one sheet, you get two uses out of one sheet. Does that make sense? Because they're so big. So anyway, there's that. Like I said, I will link them down in the description box. Okay, antique store stuff or shop or whatever you want to call it. I bought all this stuff on eBay and a lot. The lady that was selling it said she got it from an antique shop. And you can tell some of the stuff, the way it's priced on the back or whatever, you can tell it came from that. But there are some really 
cool things. I think I ended up buying two uh, kits from her. Anyway, this is going to take a hot minute, so just giving you a warning. And you can tell that some of the stuff, look, there's an advertisement on the back. Some of the stuff comes from the 1800s. I can't remember exactly what the description said, but I don't know. There's a bunch of calling cards. I love these. Usually these come like out of scrapbooks that people did. These are from the 1800s, early 1900s. This looks like a prescription for something, maybe. I don't know. Some old photographs. It's a postcard. It's an old cabin. Oh, that's a postcard too. Look at that baby. And that wash tub. <laughs> In the snow. That snow on the roof. And then there's that baby. Okay. Is this a postcard? Yep. Yeah. Let me put my glasses on so I will do this right since I am blind as a bat. Oh, look at that little girl. Aren't her little shoes cute? It's another postcard. Yep. And see how it's got the little pricing on there? Most of this stuff has that on there. Oh, he's putting on his socks. How cute. They must all be singing or something. I got the mouth. Most of them have their mouths open. Okay. There's another calling card. There's also a bunch of postcards in here. I have postcards in the shop. So I need to put these in with the ones that I sell. That's an embossed one. That's really pretty. It's from 1912. 1915. Some more pictures. Oh, look at that family. They look very serious. Am I filming? Honestly, the way things are going nowadays, I, I could have been doing this whole thing and not uh, recording. They look serious, too. I don't know if you can see that. It's very faded. Is there a date? 1905, I think, for that one. I just think these are interesting to look at. Oh, she has her dolls in front of her. That's pretty. There's another postcard from 1917. That was a pretty one too. 1910. That one's really nice. 1911. That's so thick, it almost feels like two. I feel like this haul is going to take forever and a day. 1909. That looks like it's from the 60s. 
Um, there's no date. The writing on there is very pretty, though. Okay. So we have more pictures. There's another postcard from 1903. Look at that stamp. I love that stamp. Yeah, these are pretty. Okay. Let's move on. A fox. I have one of those in my backyard. He just roams around back there. That and a raccoon. Of course, not at the same time. But you know what I'm saying. I don't know if raccoons and foxes are friends. That's from 1916. That's a postcard. I have these things. Goes on milk bottles, I think. And did I already show these? I think I did. I have something. What is this? Our table of weights and measures. I don't know. And then... That's from 1926. Whom you should marry? Is that what that says? I don't know. It's kind of messed up right there. Okay. 1955. Little postcard thing. Here's some coupons. I think this would be interesting stuff to collage with. Most definitely. bingo cards. Look at it. Isn't that adorable? So cute. Nice envelope from 1935. It's empty. We have this. And I don't know. This feels a little thicker than a magazine. I don't know what this is. All right, and then these things. I've got another envelope of this stuff. This is a needle book, I guess. I mean, there are needles in it. There's two of those. That. It's a ticket. This gold stamp. Uh, saving stamp things, and here's a book of, and then the green stamp ones, 1955, for an auction, I don't know what that's about, some old cards, oh, that was saying how much these are a piece. They look pretty old, but I don't know. They're just little, I guess, business cards type things. 1954. Here's a payment book. Oh, they put stamps in it. Look at that. Germany. That's pretty cool. Hungry. And then some blank pages. Huh. Alright. Some bridge. Uh, you know what I'm saying. Here's a letter from 1944. I'm not going to read the whole thing. If, I can't remember if this is the one that was kind of sad because the lady was breaking up with the guy because he was being an, a turd. No, it says, I'm sorry, Mom. I don't know. I don't want to read it again because it was kind of sad. I was like, geez, poor lady. Okay, moving on. Okay. This is a bunch of book pages, and I am not going through every single one of these. I would be on here forever. 
but there are some cool things in here. Uh, a lot of these book pages are extremely old. That's from 1924. Anyway, I was going to show you there's an almanac in here. I like that. The old advertisements. Look at that. I don't know how old. Oh, yes, I do. 1910. These uh, directory pages are from 1910. I think you can see from there. I think I'm low enough. I hope so. Yeah, these are neat. You can definitely cut these and make them journaling cards or collage with them. Look at that rose. All right. Meteorological records. I know I'm kind of flipping through here, but honestly, do you really want me to sit here and flip through every single page? I don't think so. I hope I'm all in frame, too. What is this? 1923. Reading and research. Oh, there's some maps. Okay, these are were interesting. Each one is, uh, each of these pages is priced. So for this page, which they're selling this right here, it's like three dollars, two dollars. These are all from a Harper's uh, New Monthly Magazine. I've actually got one or two of these books intact over there. Like this page is a dollar because it doesn't have the big picture on it. Look at that. I think these are from the late 1800s if I'm not mistaken. Anyway, oh, that's pretty. Look at that. They have some really pretty pages in those books. Yeah, so all of these are priced. And then on down, we have smaller pieces. Like that's a dollar, just for that. I don't know. I mean, I, don't get me wrong, I know these book pages came out of very old books. Put some of these in the shop, you know, just as a set of book pages because, I mean, they're nice book pages. Look at that, that's pretty. All right, let's see what else is in here. Go past the book pages. It's a different book. Victrola Book of the Opera. Mm -hmm. These are glossy pages. The Oyster Learns to Swim. All right. That almost feels like it comes out of an encyclopedia or something. The weather. This is from 1943. Oh, it's from, uh, to get film developed. An envelope to get film developed. There's a blueprint of some sort. A map. Another drugstore film envelope. These are envelopes and they have a different feel to them. Kind of. 
glossy almost, I guess. Here's a letter. Oh. 1932. It's a letter. That's pretty. It's from 19... It's not that old. It's from 1973. Here's an almanac for 1968. Yeah, those are cool. And this is old from 1906. It's in a foreign language. Maybe German, but I don't know. Hmm. It's another almanac from 1954. And some receipts from 1942. The Lord's Prayer. Looks like it was written by a kid. Just come out of books. So did these. The Pilgrim's Progress. Have these Norman Rockwell. It's a card. Another book plate. Nineteen forty-two. These feel like they came out of a magazine. Just old pages. Here's some recipe pages back here. Constipation and its relief. Thank you very much. Putting that in there. Okay. Nineteen thirty eight. Nineteen twenty three. This looks like it came out of a scrapbook. Maybe. It's a graduation thing. Hmm. Another receipt from nineteen sixty four. Nineteen thirty-seven. My back is hurting. I'm getting old. I don't know what this is from. I mean, it's pretty, but I have no idea. And that's it. Just more book pages. Nineteen eighteen. No, that's not it. First edition. This is a reproduction. Okay. Let me look and see. One more thing. Look at that. Now that's cool. You could definitely cut those up. Let's see if we can find a date. It's old. That's all I know. Okay, so there's something right here. It says for the new year, 1892 to 1893. So that's what it looks like as well. The time period. So yeah, that's very cool. Oh, there is something else in here I want to show you. I'm glad I opened this up. Now, I wasn't going to because I was thinking it was still more book pages. And it is, but there's some things at the bottom. This is Everybody's Magazine.
Let's see. Oh, there's a... That's cute. Advertisement for an iron. Actually, that's in a booklet. 1943. This looks like magazine pages. I need to put this over in my baby stuff. Look at that. Fathers aren't funny. Okay. These are nice. I wonder what magazine this is. Does this say? Mm, I don't see. I'll definitely be cutting this, like, especially these things up to use as journaling cards. Oh, I did see an advertisement, and I don't know if it was in here or not, but it was an advertisement for Eagle Brand Milk. Let me see. That's baby powder. Anyway, they were talking about that's what they, uh, they were recommended feeding the babies. Back then was Eagle Brand Milk. I was like, wow. That is sweet. I mean, I guess if it was this, made the same way as it is now. Chicken noodle dinner. These are really nice. I forgot about these. Beech nut baby food. Can you see that from here? Oh, Dr. Stock. Oh, aren't those cute? I think you can see them from down there. Oh, there's some music papers. Congratulations, mother. There's the milkman. It's his baby. <laughs> oh, I cracked myself up. Okay, I don't see the Eagle Brand milk one. Darn it. Heathen woman's friend. Not women's, woman's friend. Heathen woman? Hmm. <laughs> All right. Maybe that means something else back then. Who knows? Or maybe they had a bunch of heathens. Book pages, book pages. I'm almost there to where I wanted. Those are old. I don't know. Either that or they've just been left out in the elements. But that's some very brittle paper. I think I've got a book like this. This is from 1930s. I know I do. I've got a couple of those books over there. Here's some farm ledger paper. Another letter from the 1930s. Oh, this is the letter. Dearest, I'm very much upset over your attitude lately. That's from 1937. It was sad. I'm not going to read it. Anyway, that's from 1941. This is from 1896. You see that? And if it is, it's in very good condition. All right. Oh, here's some more baby pages. Maybe I'll come across that Eagle Brand Milk thing. Now, these pages are from the Youth Companion, and this is from 1891. So, I actually have full, like, under here, there's some, this is just a piece of one. But, I have, like, it's like a newspaper. Here's some log sheets. I'll show you in just a second. Uh, another letter, 1929. Children's book page. That's a big children's book. Magazine. Nineteen forty two. That's from nineteen twenty two. These are book plates, but they're not in very good condition at all. Copyright. 
1900. Well, that explains it. Yeah. Huh. They're not in very good condition, but they're old. Very, very old. Here's another piece of that youth companion from the 1800s. Don't slouch. Some exercises. Prunes, figs, dates, and walnuts. Ugh, really? Constitutional to be constitutional in nature. No. Oh. Guess they want to poop. All right, let's move on. Oh, Tiffany and Company. An old advertisement for them. I don't see. Oh, 1940. The magazine. Okay, this is what I was talking about. These are the full newspapers. This is from 1904. I think, let me look and make sure. Can you see most of it from there? I think so. But it's very interesting. And it's a dollar. It says up here. I don't know if you can tell, but it says a dollar seventy-five a year. But it's just got stories like this one. I'm going to have to be very careful here. And I know that you cannot see the whole thing. I'm aware of that. I'm just going to show you a few pages because... Okay, yeah, you can see most of it. Lord, I'm just tearing them and tearing them. But isn't this neat? June 16th, 1904. These are not reproductions. Women's clothes. White Mountain Ice Cream Freezer. Children's page. Tents for boys. Can you see that? Yeah. I look at those spoons. My aunt collects spoons. Gold metal flower. Alright. Let's look at it. This one is from 1880. Wow. Hang on. That baby looks like he's scared. Alright. Let me turn the page. Children's column. So they changed the name of their children's section. After 20 years, because this is 1880, the other one was 19 something. Can you see all of this? I don't know. I think so. Or most of it. That's really neat. It's so much fun to me. So much fun looking at all these old advertisements. This one's from 1902. I'm not going to go through this one. And this one's 1902. I think might this might go with this. I'm not sure. Look at those advertisements. Neuralgia. Okay. And this one is newer from 1905. True Heating Economy. It's a radiator. And there's her spring suit. Doesn't that look comfortable? All right. So, I think that that is all for right now. I have a, not a journal, but I have a book that I want to show that I made. And, I don't know. I have a couple other ideas for videos, but I'm not going to mention them right now. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you haven't already. And thank you so much for watching.